Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to just go over the basics of congruency. Now I'm not going to do application, but I want to refresh your memory to discuss the different styles of congruency we get. Okay, so in the first one we have where AB is equal to EF, we then have that BC is equal to FD, and we have that AC is equal to ED. Now this congruency is side, side, side. The second one we have is where DF is equal to EF. Okay, and then we have that EF on this side is equal to DF on this side. And we have that the angle is equal. But look at how we're reading it. We're starting from one side and we're going in a circle. So we have side, angle, side. If I'm starting from this side, I'm going this side. So we have side, angle, side. The next one you know is where we have an angle is the same and then a side and another angle. So we have an angle, side, angle. And then the last one we have is where we have a 90 degree. We have the hypotenuse side. And then we have any remaining side. So this one is called 90 degrees hypotenuse side. Now these rules are the rules of congruency. Congruency means when I take the triangles and I cut them up, I can put them exactly on top of each other and they will fit perfectly. So if I cut the one and I cut the other, they'll fit perfectly. Which means that after that I can decide that the three sides and the three angles are exactly the same. The next thing you learn is similar. Now, similar only has one rule. The one side is 30, the other side is 30. Then we have a 50 and we have a 50. And then we have a hundred and a hundred. So it only works with one rule, which is angle, angle, angle. But what is important is that this rule becomes a ratio. Now, when you're working with the ratio, you're going to work with the triangle of one over the triangle of the second. We're going to link it to its angle. So if I take here, if I'm working with the 50 degrees, I'm working with AC over. The 50 degrees here links with EF. And that would equal to, then we're going to take the 100 degrees. The 100 degrees is linked to AB. And in this one, it is linked to ED. And the last one we're going to take is the 30. The 30 is linked to BC. And in this case, the 30 is linked to DF. So from a similar, what we deduce is that we have a ratio which becomes very relevant later. Let's look at the next one. Okay, let us take the following example. What they want us to do is solve for x. Now, if you look, if we're doing sum of angles of a triangle, we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is going to equal to 180 degrees. Sum of angles of a triangle. That would mean that angle A is equal to 80 degrees. Now that is your sum of angles of a triangle. So I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. Let's take this one here. We know that angle D plus angle E plus angle F is going to equal to 180 degrees. Again, sum of angles of a triangle. If we do our calculation, you'll see that angle E is going to equal to 60 degrees. Now, here we have 80, and here we have 60. Now, look at the two triangles. We have an 80 in one, and we have an 80 in the second one. We have a 40 in one, and we have a 40 in the second one. And then we have a 60 in one, and we have a 60 in the other one. So, what can I say about triangle ABC and triangle DEF? I can say that they are similar. Now, the symbol for similar is three vertical lines. And the symbols for congruency is three horizontal lines. Now, if they are equal, 
what we're working with or what I'm trying to emphasize on is the ratio. How do you write the ratio? If we're taking the 80 degrees, then we have x over the 80 degrees in the next triangle is 12 is equal to. Now let's take the 60 degrees. The 60 degrees is 50 and the 60 degrees on this triangle is 10. Then the last one, we have the 40 degrees, which is 20. And the 40 degrees on this side is 4. Can I solve for x? Yes, you can. Can you see? It's your normal solve for x. So I got x over 12 is equal to 50 over 10. Cross multiply. I got 10x is equal to 50 times 12. 10x is equal to 600. Then divide by 10. Remember, this is your solve for x. x is equal to 60. So that is how you would use similar triangles to calculate ratios. These sections that we have covered are important. They are forming the core of your geometry. If you are not okay with us, you're not going to be okay with any of the grade 10 geometry. Make sure that you understand all those sections that we have covered until here before you start your grade 10 geometry. Thank you for watching.